Good morning. We have day 14. We survived 13 days. It's August 20 at 8.40 in the morning. We got up a little later today than we did yesterday. And of course, like every morning, we're going to go and fill up with water first thing. I think that's another potato. Yeah, that's another wild potato plant. That's awesome. Only two potatoes, but is that another one? Oh, I have enough. I have two potato plants in one day. So I have five fresh potatoes. That's really, really good. And while we're at it, we're gonna get some more wood to make fire so we can cook. Mmm, this looks like a really good meal. Lots of potatoes. I just never know how long to cook them because I don't. If I don't cook them enough. I get sick and I try to see if there's another way to cook more than one at a time if I just kind of drag them as close as possible to the fire. Nah, I think I'm gonna have to find a way to build a hobo stove and so I can cook more than one thing at a time. While my potatoes are cooking I'm just taking the time to look around and there is another mineral resource that I didn't pick down all the way but that was just a little bit left. So I'm gonna go back to that wreck here and see if I missed anything. I think I should check that crate one more time. Let's just take it down. So I'm not gonna wonder if it's full or empty every time I come by here. Let's bring it to the camp. All right, let's get rid of everything. We have a rock. Where do we put this? Where are my rocks? Oh, like over here. And we have some fibrous leaves. Oh my God, I have a lot of them. And we have that crate. Let's place it like right next to this one. There should be something in here. Oh, baked beans and vitamins, awesome. Wow, the sun is already on its way down. I have to make it over here and see if I can get another barrel or two of that ship. Yeah, I don't hear any sharks. So I should be able to get at least one barrel. Even if I have to just do one a day, it's better than nothing. God, come on, can't, can't get it somehow. Gotta hurry up. As always, it gets dark so fast. Okay, I got it. I got it in tow. Yay, we made it on land. So let's place this one right next to the other one. Which is over here somewhere. And of course, it's so dark I cannot see anymore. I think we have to get the other one tomorrow. That's okay. Oh, let's eat this potato. Oh no, that potato wasn't cooked through all the way, I guess. But my health didn't take a hit, so I'm all good. I'm gonna go and take a nap now. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning, day 15, August 21st. We survived 14 days. Let's go and see if we can get this other barrel of this wreck, the last one. I don't see any sharks, let's just go for it. And do this once and for all, be done with it. So then I have three barrels, I can build a raft or I could take one of the barrels and make a hobo stove. Not sure yet what I want to do. Depends on my mood. Let's just get this on land. Yay, look at that. We have three barrels. We saved them from the wreck. And we didn't have any more encounters with the shark. Oh, I thought that was uh, something else. It's just a starfish. 
So I want to take advantage of it still being early in the day and head over to one of the islands and hopefully find some more treasures, things that could improve my life drastically while trying to survive on this island. Okay, let's head over to the little island. Wow, look at this shipwreck. It looks pretty big. There's maybe a lot of good stuff in there, or maybe not. We will find out very soon. But I think I'm gonna actually have to make a shelter on this little island. I was here before, but I just went here to collect stones and stuff. I didn't have time to make a shelter. I headed right back. So this time I want to make a shelter here so I can save the game in case something happens to me when I explore the wreck. So let's just get all the resources. Looks like there are plenty on this island and then build this shelter, shall we? Okay, we got all the stuff we need to build the shelter, so we just need to place it in a nice little place, shady place right here. I think that's absolutely perfect. That also gives me a good view of the surroundings. Basically a 360 degree view. Beautiful. So now I have to get rid of all the stuff I collected because I want to have as much space in my backpack as possible for all the stuff that I find on the wreck. And I'm really hoping I find a lot of good stuff on this wreck. Because there are a few things that I kind of miss, like for example a lantern or a flashlight or something, so I don't always have to make a fire. And maybe better tools, like a better hammer, a better axe. Who knows what you can find on the ship. Maybe I can find some more food, canned food or something. So let's head over there. I'm not going to swim because of the sharks. I want to make sure that I have to be in the water as little as possible. And I have to make sure my raft is not floating away while I'm exploring this raft. Oh look, there are three barrels, but how do I get them over to the other island? That's the question. Maybe I have to build the raft here, but then I have to leave the rubber raft. Mm. Can we jump down here? Oh, that worked really well. Look at that, we don't even have to dive. Uh, we already have that stuff. Oh, it's the same stuff all the time. Morphine, carburetor, let's just take it all. Oh, there are two consoles, right? Oh, we found a lantern, finally. I'm so happy. That's exactly what I needed, finally. What's back here? Uh, I don't think there's anything. I'm not even gonna risk my life doing this, but we should check the locker here. Uh, nothing special. We already have all this stuff. We're gonna take it anyway. You can never have enough material. You never know when it comes in handy. Is there something down here? Hmm. That's disappointing. This wreck didn't have as much stuff as I thought, but it was totally worth it coming here for the lantern. And I have to get back to my raft now, and there could be a shark, so this is a little iffy, but I may just make it. Yes. Man, was I lucky. All right, I think I'm gonna leave here now and head back to my base island. Goodbye, little island. I'll come back again, I promise. But right now, I just wanna head back before it gets dark. Whew, we just made it before it gets super, super dark. And I already know I'm on the right island. I found my island again because of the light of the furnace that I have, because that flame is going constantly. And that's like a little lighthouse. It's actually telling me that that's my home base. So I have to make sure that I do not put any furnaces on other islands or I'll get really really confused. Almost home. Home sweet home. Oh I feel so home here now. Isn't that funny? 
Okay, let's organize all our goodies that we collected and empty our backpack. Make sure everything goes in its place. Let's put the morphine here. That carburetor can go in one of the crates wherever there is room. I think this one should have room for the carburetor. Let's put it in here. Oh, we can put that in here to the label maker too. All right, I'll still have the carburetor in my hands. Let's put that into that crate as well. It should fit. Yes, good. All the engine parts are there. Let's put the vitamins right here with the other ones. And let's get rid of this torch and then check out the lamp. Wow, look at how bright it is. I just wonder if this lamp is always going to work or if I have to worry about battery life. If I should conserve it, or if I should, if I can just use it whenever. But look at how good it looks here. It looks like I should use that as a nightstand, one of those crates. Ha! <laughs> I don't really have a bed. I'm sleeping in the sand with some palm leaves over my head. But this, look at this scene. This looks really awesome. And look how organized my camp is. All the material it has its own place, so we can find it quickly. I don't want to go to bed yet, so I think I'm going to see if I can craft something with all the new material I collected. And I remember that I wanted to look at making a stove. I think I saw that somewhere. Something called a hobo stove, I believe. Structures. Oh, here it is. I do have a barrel and I have a fire pit, so can we just do that? Let's get one of the barrels. That means I can't make a raft because I only have two left after that. But we'll, we'll figure out that problem another time. Right now, I think it's more important to be able to cook a lot of stuff so I can fill up my stomach a much faster and more convenient. So let's drag that over here into my camp close the fire pit okay so can we build it right on top of this let's see let's try that hmm something is in the way uh, I think I don't think that's gonna work I probably can't build it here because I already have something on top of my fire pit. I have to stick. So I think I have to make another fire pit, unfortunately. And I do have the materials. So let's put that. Mm, sticks are in the way. Should we put it over here, maybe? Over here. Seems a little crazy close. I don't know. I don't really know where to put it. Eh. I'm going to actually move those sticks and put it right to the left of my water still. That's really the best place. I'm not like 100% happy with it, but I think it makes sense that it's kind of like a kitchen. I have the stove, I have the sink, and then I have the fire pit, the regular fire pit which now kind of becomes obsolete, but we'll see. Maybe there's another use for it. Right now, I really just want to build the stove, so let's just uh, move it, and we should be able to have room now. Oh, wait, we have to build the campfire first. Okay, and now we can add the fire pit part to it and now we should be able to put the whole stove on top. I really hope that's how it works. Yeah, it does. Look at that. It's done. Oh my god, how amazing. Mm, can't wait to try it out, but I don't think I'm going to do that tonight since I'm still good with food and all. I tried to stay up again overnight, but I think I'm tired. I'm going to go take a nap and get more done tomorrow. So let's sleep good night.